Speaking of the Aggies, this man here is Nate Dryling, New Mexico State defensive coordinator. He will be tasked with designing the game plan to slow down McConnell and the Miners on Wednesday. His family has had to design a different kind of game plan this year, though. His wife, Alexa, was diagnosed with breast cancer earlier this year. October is, of course, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The Aggies are doing their best to be brave for the Drylings. New Mexico State defensive coordinator Nate Dryling and his wife Alexa met how so many married couples do in college when they were both star athletes at Pittsburgh State in Kansas. We're just little college sweethearts. A lot has changed for the Drylings a decade later. Throw three kids in a college coaching career, it stops around the country into the mix. I really like this lifestyle. It's, it has its challenges, but uh, overall, it's been really fun. But as the Aggies were preparing for their first season in Conference USA earlier this month, a new, much more difficult challenge hit the Dryling family. While Alexa was breastfeeding the family's newest child, Baisley, she noticed a lump, which she first thought was a clogged duct or perhaps mastitis, persisted. After multiple doctor's visits, she got the official diagnosis on August 10th. Breast cancer at just 31 years old and an aggressive form of it, but thankfully caught in the early stages. The only reason they found it because she was a uh, have, have four-month-old kid and she was breastfeeding and, and uh, they found it like that. If not, the doctor said probably been bit, about 10 more years. They say it takes a village and that's been the case for the drylings the last few weeks from the help of their extended family on the NMSU coaching staff making meals and helping out at home to the support of strangers near and far. From entire Las Cruces to people all over New Mexico has been awesome. Uh, she's tough and the uh, outreach has been very positive for us and it goes a long ways. The drylings rallying cry since Alexa his diagnosis has been two simple words, be brave. It comes straight from a pep talk given by the Dryling's three-year-old daughter, Baylor. It was the day before uh, her doctor's appointment to find out if she had cancer or not, and she was home with the kids and she was crying in the room, and the, our three-year-old walked in and asked, what's wrong, Mommy? And Mom said she's, she's scared to go to the doctor's tomorrow. Um, and Baylor went up to him and whispered in her ear, be brave. So that's kind of been our mantra. Here is my three-year-old giving me advice that I've been giving to her. It's just kind of like, if my three-year-old can tell me to be brave, by God, I'm gonna be brave. Be Brave is now printed on pink wristbands worn by many of NMSU's coaches and players with Alexa and the family on their minds. He's the type of dude you, you gotta ride for. He's gonna do whatever it takes. Yeah, I know she's very strong and, and the drylings are very strong and the kids too. Um, you know, I'm, I'm behind Coach Dryling. We all want to play for him. Alexa started chemotherapy last month, and she was honored at the FIU game two weeks ago with the coaches' wives all wearing pink wigs in support. When she's cured, the Drylings plan on giving back to breast cancer research and patients around the world. Right now, the family is focused on the fight. You can be pissed off and mad and sad, and then you got to dust yourself off, and we're going to fight like hell.